By the end of the video, I'll show you how to create this type of org chart diagram in Microsoft Visio. Fastest way to create organizational chart as Visio is to type org in the search bar, which shows organizational chart. And it shows you multiple options. You can do wizard, you can do uh, department organizational chart, and you can do hierarchical organizational chart. We'll do department organizational chart. That's the best fit for what we're trying to do. And here you see Microsoft put together right away uh, the sample uh, Visio org chart. You can use this if this matches your structure. But we will start from the beginning, so I'm going to delete this org chart with all the shapes. Now, to create the organizational chart, we'll be using a um, chart for the manufacturing company. We'll start with executive notch. And let's do a quick overview before we move any further. We have multiple shapes here. Uh, executive is the top of a organizational chart hierarchy. Managers report to executives, and then you have different people reporting uh, to managers. So these are the key shapes we will be using. So we'll start with executive, and executive would be a president. So you just drag and drop shape as I did, and let's zoom in a little bit closer. So we'll put a name here. And which, what I did, I just clicked on the title. Uh, it was an empty um, text box, and I just started typing. And when I'm done, I clicked on another place outside of the shape, or maybe another text box inside the shape. In the typical structure, VPs report to the president. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take manager's notch and drag it on top of the president. And you see what it did? It created reporting a hierarchy. And I'm going to say that this will be um, Darwin. Now I'm going to create another VP, VP of production. And I'm going to do the same thing. Drag uh, VP of production shape on top of the president's shape. And that's how you build reporting hierarchy in Visio. And uh, I'm quick, quickly going to add another shape for VP of sales. So now you see we've built top of the company's hierarchy. Uh, what we're going to do next is we are going to create a managerial position. So under each VP, we'll create a manager. And then I'll show you a couple things you can do with employees. So manager, we're going to use the same. Uh, we can use the same notch, uh, same color. Or we can use position notch. I'm going to use position notch just to show the difference. So under VP of sales, we'll create a manager. Managers or VPs, they hire consultants on specific projects. So what we will do here, we will uh, drag a shape. And now we have consultant. To show that vacancy reports directly to Jane, I'm going to drag this shape and drop it under Jane. And you see it created relationship. Now I'm going to move shape a little bit to the left. So it will show that reporting structure is uh, vacant position reports directly to Jane. I'm going to build uh, some additional shapes in the diagram uh, through quick forward because you, you, I think you got the idea. And uh, what I'm going to do just create the structure so we can use it uh, to show you additional cool features that Visio provides. <laughs> So now I'm done uh, building the structure. And what you can see is we have a very nice org structure diagram. Let's see what else we can do. For example, sometimes a president might have an assistant. So you do the same thing. You take a system notch and you drop it on the president. Now what else you can do to make it look nice are typically org charts. Uh, make look very nice when you give them pictures. So what you can do, you can click on the notch and you do a right mouse click and say picture, change picture. And what we're going to do, we will look at uh, a couple of the stock photos. So this is Amani Burke. We'll just insert Amani. Then we'll do the same thing for Leslie. Um, I just need to find Leslie. Then we will have Jane here. And I'll do it in the fast forward so you guys don't have to see me struggling because it's the same operation.
So now we're done with all the pictures and I've noticed that I made a mistake and I'm just going to show you how uh, to fix it. You see that for all the managers, um, Jane Smith and um, Robert uh, Siddiq, I used uh, blue shapes. And uh, mistakenly for Andrea Roberts, I used VP shape. So what I'm going to do, the easiest way, you can obviously delete it and bring the right shape. But if you want to keep the information um, that's already in the shape and just fix the shape, there is an easier way to do it. So what you do, you select the shape and you see on the home tab, there is a change shape button and you pick the right shape and the right shape for, for me is the blue shape. And now the change is made. Now let's zoom out a little bit and I'll show you a couple cool things. Uh, what you can do, first of all, you can change the design um, and view of your diagram. And the best way to do it is you, there is a new org, ta org chart tab uh, in Visio that you can see and you can just switch between different options and it will change the layout for the shapes and pick even a different shape. So we are in uh, notch type uh, layout and that's a default, but you can switch and, and try different ones. Since we're here on this tab, I'm going to pinpoint a couple other cool options. So you can change different layout. We use horizontal uh, center layout, but there are other ones. So if you change them, you see how it redesigns the uh, diagram right away, but keeps all the information on the shapes. You can use vertical or side by side. I'll let you play with those, play with those different layouts. Um, you can also use option best to fit to the page, right? And that moves it uh, directly for you uh, based uh, on how Visio thinks is the best fit for the page. You can also move it by selecting everything and moving it around. You can also select spacing between the shapes by clicking the plus and minus buttons next to the spacing icon. And if you're a sophisticated user, what you can do, you can import organizational chart and uh, that's a topic for another video. Or you can export the structure and compare the data. This allows you, the, the cool features that this allows you to maintain the org chart uh, from the uh, database and rebuild it if you have a large organization and you don't want to build it every time manually. You can just use the import feature and re-import the data and it will resync everything. There are a couple additional cool notches that you can use. For example, if you want to add title to the diagram, you can say uh, just drag and drop the title date notch and you can say this is ABC company uh, or whatever the company is. Uh, um, and then it will automatically create a title for you. Uh, a couple other cool things. Um, if you know that you have like multiple team members, for example, team three team members reporting directly, like we knew that uh, three people, three VPs report directly to president, you can drag the three position uh, notch and uh, dra uh, drag and drop it under vacant position, for example, uh, and this will rebuild the structure and will automatically build three positions underneath of the vacant position. You can do it for any shape. What if you have more than three uh, positions or less than three? You can use multiple shapes uh, structure and you can just drag and drop it under the shape and then it will provide you the questions. How many shapes would you like to add? What type of shapes? Which is pretty cool. And then you pick the hierarchy. What's the best fit for this particular reporting hierarchy? Sometimes organization run projects. So what you do, you can identify project group and you use what's called team frame. So you just drag team frame. Uh, you group this and... Uh, and then the last thing I'm going to show you is the dotted line reporting relationship. So sometimes people report what's called dotted line. So they have primary reporting relationship, but also indirect reporting relationship. So let's say Andrea reports uh, to also VP of sales, not just global marketing. So we just drag this line and that creates this dotted line reporting relationship. Now let's look at some other cool features of Microsoft Visio, what it allows you to do. If you click on the design tab, we can quickly change the design. Maybe you like the layout, but you don't like the design. So Visio provides a lot of themes and each themes has variant and you can also pick a background. So let me uh, show you one option and then you can experiment based on what you're trying to do and pick the one that you like. So you pick the theme that you like and I'm just going to move uh, from theme to theme and you see how it changes the picture. Uh, you can pick, for example, modern design, uh, and it not just changes the uh, color of the shapes, it changes fonts as well. And within modern design, for example, you can pick different variants. You can also change uh, col not just colors, but you can also change type of connectors and uh, use different effects and use different colors. So if we pick different connectors, maybe let's put slice connector 
if this is what you like. And then backgrounds, a uh, couple pre-built backgrounds. Obviously, you can insert your own uh, image for the background, but let's just pick this world. And you see this. Now you have a global manufacturing company. Looks very good. I like it. Uh, maybe we can disagree on design uh, colors and themes, but uh, the only thing I don't like is uh, the size of the font. It's kind of hard to see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select all. You can select all by dragging all the shapes, or you can also select all by pressing Control A on the keyboard. And then we go back to Home tab and click font increase, and you can probably increase it up to uh, limits where you can looks like Antonio is hard to fit. I think this is pretty good.